Hundred, jury is duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled action, and upon our oath, do find the defendant, Philip Mitchell Brailsford, on the lesser included offense of reckless manslaughter, not guilty. Well, we have been following this case for a very long time. It's been a dramatic one, a lot of twists and turns. Well, now we have resolution because a not guilty verdict was found in the former Mesa police officer, Mitch Brailsford, who shot and killed Daniel Shaver. But this morning, we are now getting a new look at the moment Brailsford shot and killed the unarmed Daniel Shaver inside that Mesa hotel. It's a video police hung on to until the trial was finished. And Cameron, well, he's been following this case very closely for us. He joins us with all the latest details this morning. Cameron, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. I actually just watched the entirety of that body cam footage and to be honest with you it is extremely hard to watch a lot going on in that video and it needs to be uh, broken down on exactly what it was Daniel Shaver uh, was supposed to do or could have done differently we haven't heard much about that and with this video just newly released hopefully we will in that body cam footage that was shot uh, nearly two years ago you see uh, Daniel Shaver in the moments before he was shot and killed by Mitch Brailsford uh, after someone reported that he was pointing a gun out of the hotel window that man turned out to be Shaver who was actually only in the possession of a pellet rifle for pest control uh, when officers arrived, including Brailsford. They suspected he had a gun. And in that video, you see him actually crawling on the floor. He is crying, begging for his life before Officer Mitch Brailsford shot, fires multiple shots at Shaver. You can see him move his hand back, but uh, he's crawling on the floor. And uh, he, of course, saw that uh, he was carrying a gun. When you watch the video, it is uh, it, it really makes you think. Legal expert Jason Lamb uh, weighed in on this, and he predicted that Brailsford would be found not guilty. He says, uh, despite what happened in the hallway, it was Brailsford's own testimony about what he was thinking at the time he fired those shots that sealed the deal. Probably some of the strongest evidence that helped Brailsford get the not guilty verdict was not only his own testimony, but the testimony of his training officer, the officer who trained him in lethal force. That officer testified that Brailsford acted consistent with his training and that he himself would have acted as Brailsford did had he been in that situation. All right, throughout the criminal case, you did not see uh, the video released to the public. It was shown inside the courtroom to the jury, but uh, the the, the uh, defense Brailsford side of this did not want that video to be shown to the public because it is extremely uh, in-depth. It is dramatic. The words that uh, the police officers are yelling at uh, Brailsford and the woman he was with, they warned him multiple times that if he made one wrong move, they would shoot him and they absolutely followed through on that threat. So that video is out now. It is online and it is going viral this morning for the very graphic nature uh, of what happened here at the La Quinta Hotel in January 2016. Reporting live in Mesa, I'm Cameron Riddle for Arizona's Family.